Hey, everybody, this is Perch. It's a day of comic news, and uh, we'll get to more of that. But um, look, I, <laughs> what the hell? I, I think that's uh, that's the summary here. So uh, we have a we have three two DC books, one Marvel book, and uh, the the first you know DC has two books hitting eight hundred issue eight hundred, which is a huge milestone in this industry that reboots and relaunches uh, all the time. So hit eight eight hundred issues is a big accomplishment. Wonder Woman and the Flash will officially uh, hit this milestone, uh, an awesome, awesome milestone uh, here this year in just a few short months in June. And um, that is, uh, you know, how do you celebrate? How do you really do that? Well, the key is first you do a big anthology in that 800th issue and both Flash and Wonder Woman will do anthology stories. And then, of course, you cancel it and you relaunch it with a new number one. That's the way you uh, celebrate that milestone. And that's what's happening with both books. So a new era begins, uh, $4.99 Dawn of DC. Uh, they will have the stupid Marvel uh, Legacy 801 and tiny little brackets next to number one. So I, I give them that, uh, but uh, I still find it all stupid. Nobody is falling for this trick anymore. That's the, that's the problem. So uh, let's get right to it. Wonder Woman, uh, the uh, nightmare is ending with Becky Cloonan and Michael Conrad finally wrapping up their run. But a new nightmare begins as uh, Tom King returns to an ongoing title for the first time since his uh, kind of ill-fated end on Batman uh, that was cut uh, short amidst uh, a bunch of uh, chaos there. But uh, Tom King will be, re be joining Wonder Woman. Um, with uh, his uh, artist, Daniel Sampier, who was on Dark Crisis, um, taking over this book uh, in a bold new direction. What is that direction, you might ask? Well, I'm going to preface this by saying, I know this channel does a lot of sarcasm and irony and all that kind of stuff, but this is from DC's website. This is it. This is exactly what they say. So this is not a bad pitch from, from uh, Perch and Joe. The pitch goes as follows. After a mysterious Amazonian is accused of mass murder, the U.S. Congress passes the Amazon Safety Act, barring all Amazons from American soil. Clearly, it's a, uh, a different U.S. Congress than the one currently in the Congress. Uh, but to carry out its new law, it continues, the government sets up the, and this is not a joke, Amazon Extradition Entity, or ACTS, task force to remove those who don't comply by any means necessary. In her search for the truth behind the killing, Wonder Woman now finds herself an outlaw in the world she once swore to protect. So uh, Tom King, of course, uh, known for his takes uh, lately, a lot of limited series he's been on for introducing us to a depressed Mr. Miracle, a uh, depressed Adam Strange, a uh, depressed human target, a depressed Supergirl, a depressed uh, Rorschach, and uh, now will introduce us to a group of depressed comic readers uh, with his new book, uh, Wonder Woman, uh, starting on Don DC. And and look, you know, I'm sorry the the Amazon extradition entity, Axe Task Force, U.S. government uh, reacting to supposed terrorism with xenophobia. I I I I say it. I stand by it. I think there's a video in the queue here somewhere around agendas. I do not believe that uh, that there you know is all these this, this deliberate attempt to just screw with the fans. I don't believe that's true. Um, but I, but in fairness, I think it's you know I, I believe ninety nine percent of the time it's it's not true. This is probably the one percent. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Um, you put Tom King on a book about uh, government overreach and with a very thinly veiled uh, reference to ICE. Um, goddamn. Okay, that's what we got. So Wonder Woman relaunching Tom King. It's uh, it's gonna make it's gonna make so many YouTubers so much money. Um, then our second book, uh, Flash, as I mentioned, also hitting eight hundred. So also getting uh, relaunched uh, with the new book, and this one is uh, relaunching as a number one from writer Cy Spurrier and artist Mike Diodato, and uh, this one. I'm, I'm actually, so, so work with me here as much as I, I truly believe. And, and again, if you like Tom King, you like that stuff, more power to you. If you think the uh, idea of a ice like entity hunting down Amazons is your idea of a good comic, then, you know, again, I hope you enjoy it. I don't think worse of you. Good for you. I really mean it. Good for you. Um, this one, the flash, uh, the, I, I think this works 
and potentially, this has the potential to be one of the best books, and I'll tell you why. So let me read the synopsis of this. There's not a lot uh, here. So um, the new Flash number one will launch in September. So there will be a, a couple months. It uh, Flash 800 is on sale June 6th, and then we'll skip July and August. And in September, we get Flash number one. And the story or the pitch is short here. It says it pushes Wally West to find new ways to use his power as he confronts themes of cosmic horror. So I think that sounds pretty awesome, uh, quite frankly. I, I think that... Uh, it, it, here's, here's my argument. Um, my, my argument is this. Sice Burrier, I think, fits this character. I think that he'll bring something new to the whole mythology. He'll break out of kind of the constant, oh, the speed force is going away. He'll bring something new to it. He's not my favorite writer in the world, but I think I think he matches this. Diodato um, is got really good at doing very unusual page layouts and panels where he he carries the action in other ways with just how the storytelling is being done. And uh, I'm very I'm legit excited to see what he does for Flash. Flash is all about motion, so I, the idea of breaking up the panels and doing very different layouts sounds pretty cool to me. And then we're going to later in with cosmic horror, and Diodato does a really good job with horror elements in comics. So. I like, you know, just like the uh, Wonder Woman announcement sounds like a absolute nightmare. This one, um, it, it's like this is kind of what I always want comics to do is you take a, you know, a set of creators, you know, maybe not your top creators of all time. I think they're they're both Spurrier and, and Diodato are very talented. I, I, you know, definitely no doubt about it. But the two of them, I think, combined is a good group. And on, on this book is a good pairing. And then with that premise i think is i just think this is this is right like this this sounds like the right you know uh, this this is a right way to go i i don't know i i just i think that this is um strangely kind of exactly what you would want uh so we'll see how it plays out but anyway flash number one i i'm into it i like the, the creative team this uh anniversary issue is going to feature stories from mark wade jeff johns jeremy adams joshua williamson um, one uh, writer here who's not listed that absolutely should be is the best, uh, in my opinion, the best Flash story of all time, and that's uh, William Messner Loeb's, who did the incredible Wally West, uh, Nobody Dies. We did a video where we read on that. That's just such a great comic. And uh, Bill Loeb's um, you know, should be part of this celebration. He is not, and I think that's a shame. He could definitely use the, he could use the money, and I think uh, he should be there, so... Uh, that is that is a shame. But otherwise, that's what we got for that. Finally, um, Daredevil is ending. So Chip Zdarsky, as expected, Zdarsky's over there on Batman. He'll be there for a while. Uh, Zdarsky and uh, Marco Cinchetto will uh, leave in August as Daredevil ends this run. The trailer says this is what God has done with a burning uh, Daredevil mask. The saga ends in August. And um, it is, uh, this, this is this is it. So we'll see how it all rolls out. At the moment, Daredevil is married to Elektra and uh, running a uh, group called The Fist in battle with The Hand, who currently has The Punisher. Uh, so that's, uh, that's, that's currently what's going on. They have not announced a new series yet, other than they have announced that it will be relaunched. So we, we know it's going to return. We don't know from who. But uh, undoubtedly, we're going to hear about that pretty soon. So as more and more solicitations come in to what Marvel's doing in August and September, DC calling, following suit. Three, three new, three big changes. Okay, Daredevil ending with the creative team that you know was pretty well liked by a lot of a uh, lot of people. They liked this pairing. We've got a brand new Flash from a creative team. I think sounds pretty good. And then we got Wonder Woman fighting ice by Tom King. So uh, again, YouTubers have at it. <laughs> Make those dollars. And uh, what do you think? Are you buying any of these books? What do you love? What do you not like? Um, feel free, by the way, you're going to get beaten. You're going to get annihilated in the comments if you try. But by all means, if you're looking forward to that Tom King book, I would definitely love to hear from you legitimately. It's not me. You know, I'm not, you, you should know me by now. I'm not going to go take shots at you, but um, I, I, I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, let us know why, what you're looking forward to. Do you think that flash pairing is as good as I think? And who do you think is a perfect team to come on Daredevil? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.